Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Mr. West, Grandstaff, what's going on, brother? What's up? Glad to be here. Hey, man. So, uh, yeah, man, uh, actually, Austin, I had got to talk with him, and we brought you up, and he, he, the, the stories got so interesting. We say, well, why don't you tell him to come over and, and, and give us an insight on how good you were. You say you was the number one basketball player and I, all of these things. I said, I don't want to make this uh, mm -hmm. fish bigger than what he is. I want to hear the, the story from the man sitting next to the man. <laughs> well, so. I'm kind of upset if he didn't just say Google me. That's oh, he didn't, did he? Yeah, he didn't, did he? He didn't say it. No, he just didn't. Just Google me. That would, that would be great if yeah. he'd have said that. Then we may not have had this interview. No, probably no. not. <laughs> <'Cause>, yeah. <laughs> no, we yeah, would have. He, yeah, he's got a video out there that has like, uh, YouTube that has over 800,000 views called I'll Give Your Whole Team Buckets. Really? Yeah. So, so no. let's, let's go back to your story. Talk, talk a little bit about you from Dallas. I'm from, oh, I grew up in, well, I was when I was born. born. Yeah, I lived in. Oak Cliff. Oak we, Cliff. Yeah, we lived in the projects across really? from Parkland Hospital when uh, when I was I little. That. Okay. And then we moved over to uh, Highland and Ferguson. My mom was married seven times, so we just kind of seven times. Huh? Yeah, she's married seven times. Couldn't get you married in Texas we, no more. They you, told her oh, no they more. Have a limit no more. In they Texas? have a limit. Uh, they used to. You couldn't get. You had to go I somewhere never else. Yeah. Seven times. So okay, hold on, hold on. Let me ask. So. How old was she when she married the first one? Uh, well, she was pregnant with me at fifteen, so okay. she wow. so she married my dad, and they lasted till I was about two, and then okay. she got with a, another dude that she had known before. He and he, she was with him when I was like three, four, five. Okay, baby six. He got put in prison. He went to prison. Then she got with a guy named Bob Boone, who kind of got me into sports. He moved me over okay. to, to Garland, to Eastgate Apartments, where yeah, Eastgate, yeah, man, yeah. I know exactly where you was at. Yeah, and right then, off of Ferguson. When you turn right, you go to in uh, Centerville and turn that left on Saturn. That's where, yeah, that was my stomping grounds. And that there was an old man there named Dick Keller who taught me discipline. We had a six court facility there, or two court facility, but like tons of goals, mm -hmm. and he. Taught me discipline, and, and he brought me over here to play at this Y. He got, he taught us that the, he taught me that there's no black and white. It's it's it, it, it doesn't matter what color your skin is. Mm -hmm. That guy, really? when we would travel to outside tournaments in third grade, you would I would have to sleep in the same bed with a black kid, and he mixed us all up like that because he really wanted us to know that, you know. You know, sound, different than me. Sound, sound like remember the Titans. You know what yep. I'm talking about? Yep. <laughs> kind of was same yeah. concept. Yep. So, so, I, I was, so she, so she, um, how, I'm trying to figure out what was her longest relationship and how long were the marriages for? Because for seven, seven marriages, a lot, a lot of them were short, short like yeah. two, three years, all of them. Yeah, yeah, basically, and, and all of them were abusive. All of them were drugs. Um, mm. First time, um, Austin's mom went to a, a birthday party. Mom is my mom's 40th birthday, and we had just gotten together, and she went and. My stepdad was being kind of rude to my mom, and I said, hey, I'm going to get up out of here. Well, my wife's never seen a fight in her life, and he said he wanted to he wanted to whoop my ass is what he says. So I said, well, hey, let's go. Let's go. And, yeah, and so I went outside and tore him up, and my wife ran inside and said, call 911. And, like, my family, and they're like, 911, we, we, we're going out to watch, <laughs> you know. And then, so, But that's just kind of how our family was. I stopped wanting to have birthday parties because there was a – fight at every birthday party the yeah. cops came to my i mean my it was my own family fighting each other mm. wow so but it was my mom was five right at five foot and Short. just yeah but but feisty yep yeah, she told me i was her horse if i never won a race she she was good to me i mean i, I wouldn't change nothing we, we lived 32 places growing up i mean we wow. bounced around 32. so yeah. you really didn't except from that person the the father that um introduced you to um basketball mm-hmm how was it like being raised, by, I would say, by so many different, you know, dads, so to say? You know, I, I always got to see my dad. My my dad, though, he, he was into a lot of bad things. Um, got me in Golden Gloves when I was real little because I, I had a lot of they, – they used to put me in a circle when I was, like, maybe five, six, or seven, eight, when I would – it was his weekend, and I'd have to fight other little kids, and they would get high and bet on us, and it, we were like chicken fights. And it was mm -hmm. other little kids would come over to, to fight, and mm – -hmm. So it was just a different, I, I was raised different. So I go to a regular school with regular it, kids. It, it was a different time, but at the end of the day, at least you got to go home. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. That, no. That's the good part about it. Yeah. I, I, can, I, can, I can respect that, you yeah. know, because 
least you got to go home and the people that you did have those dealings with, if you ever seen them again, y'all had a respect for each other. Oh, sure. You yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, no, I was, it was, today he would go to prison or, or go to jail for, and the people around would, but back then that was just cool. Normal. Like, and, and nobody had hard feelings. I'd go play with that kid after I whooped his ass. That's right. I mean, that's just how, how it was. I wish it was more like that today it, in a not, sense because yeah. people picking up guns, you know what no, I mean? No, no. We used to just go out back and get it over with and, if you say I gave, I normally let you up unless you hit me real hard, then I might hit you an extra time. But then I get let, <laughs> help you up and dust you off. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, but but my mom's longest relationship was probably to the one guy that I got into it with that time, and it was probably seven or eight years. He was a pretty good dude, but she had some real bad ones. Um, she's passed now. Um, I and, rest but, yeah, she 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 did good. Yeah, I mean, I I wouldn't change nothing. Right. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.